Welcome to the first hopeful travel vlog of 2020. I mean, I know I went to Naxos, but that wasn't really that much of a travel vlog. But uh, now I'm on a boat and I'm going island hopping here in Greece and I'm super excited. So I'm going to show you the boat. We are still in the marina here in Athens, but we're about to get out and start sailing. This is the outside. It is, I believe it's 44 feet, so a good size. It's really nice. I'll take you inside later. So, we come up this way and be careful that we don't fall in. Yep. And, uh, oh, there's a nice breeze up here because it's pretty hot. It's super hot in Athens still. So I'm super excited to get out in the wind. Um, and it's got good wind, so it seems like we're actually going to be able to sail and not have to motor to our next stop, which is, you know, the joy of this trip. She's a beautiful boat. She is beautiful. My cabin is in there. And because many of the people who were supposed to crew with us couldn't come because of various reasons and restrictions on travel, there are only three of us in this lovely 44-foot boat. These guys next to us, <laughs> that's Mark waving to you, um, they're on this 33-foot, uh, I was supposed to be with them, but a last-minute crew change and I'm here. So, anyway, but it's lovely. And we're off. So exciting. We have stopped. We can to do some swimming. On on this platform. No, I don't think the two of you would be okay. Oh, it is so great after the heat. Look at this. Just amazing. couple of uninhabited islands with only birds. They were very angry with us when they showed up, when we showed up. <laughs> Goodbye, Megina. So now we're on to our next stop. That little fishing boat has a beach umbrella for shade. Good on him though. Second swim stop of the second, or the first swim stop of the second day. I've already been in the water once and now I'm going to try to swim over to the island um, and see if there's anything to see in the shallower water. Um, but you can see this is where we're at. And this is the boat. Water feels amazing. Good morning everybody. It's very early. We are today sailing to the Corinth Canal, so we're leaving very early so that we can go through early. Um, but look at that, we're up before the sunrise. It's about 5.45 now almost, and the sun comes up at 6.10. Goodbye, little harbor that we slept in. We are getting super close to the Corinth Canal and all we have to do is dock and pay and then hopefully we'll beat any other traffic coming the other direction and we can go straight through. Our other two boats that were with us have already gone through. They're actually doing it now. So we're waiting to pay 
and on the docks are a bunch of uh, stray dogs and apparently sometimes if they see you coming they will uh, come and help <laughs> with your lines. Oh, really they just try to pull on them. Um, I've seen video of it, it's super cute. Um, and they're totally friendly, you don't have to worry about them if you're doing this. Alright, we are now in the canal. We're following a giant ferry. <laughs> so, you know, that's great. Fortunately, there's not a lot of fumes coming off of him, so that's, that's good. So what was interesting is there's a small, like, car bridge right at the entrance. And it doesn't lift up like you would normally see, like a drawbridge. It actually lowers down into the water so the boats can pass. So that's something different I've never heard of before. Even though the Corinth Canal was conceived in classical times, it obviously didn't come to fruition until much later. Construction began in 1881 and then was completed in 1893. However, it wasn't really operational right away because of landslides and now is mainly a tourist attraction because it is so narrow that modern ships cannot use it. It is only 70 feet across and ships that have more than a draft of 7.3 meters cannot use it. It's four miles long so it doesn't take very long to get through but it is beautiful and the sounds of the birds and the insects are really cool. It is slightly eerie but definitely worth the experience. our motor so they're not coming over here. Now they're coming. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Ah. Finally sailing. Finally have enough wind to go somewhere. But it feels amazing. because you probably, I don't even know if you can hear me, but look at it, it's coming and it feels so good. And we stayed in port today. Ah! All right, the storm is over. It's still really windy, but it's cleared. It's dropped the temperature and it's beautiful here now. And the sun is playing off all over that mountain. And over there somewhere is Delphi, which is an ancient site here in Greece. 
We thought we might try to get there, but because of the heat and then the storm, we knew that it just wasn't a good idea. So that'll be another trip for another time for me, but uh, it's okay. I've enjoyed being on this beauty. And now we're off to dinner. Uh, we're able to sail again today. That's how it should be. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, now the wind has really picked up and it's cooled way down, which feels amazing. I even have on pants now. Um, so. We're not sailing, we're motoring. The port that we're now coming into, where you can see the lights off on the left hand side here, is Napactos. And that you're about to see that when you enter this harbor, it's in the ancient Venetian castle that comes all the way down to the water. The rest of the castle and its walls are spread throughout Napactos, and it is one of the most beautiful ports I have ever seen. Stand by. I can't wait to go back and visit again. Okay, I wait. Very cool harbor. Does it look okay? Venetian, Venetian castle okay, up there. So I hope you've enjoyed my week of sailing. As you can see, I have gotten quite a bit of sun, despite wearing a lot of sunscreen, um, but that's okay. <laughs> um, obviously, there's still a couple more days of sailing left, but I wanted to show you the inside of my cabin because um, I told you I was going to show you the inside of the boat, and I never did. This is my door, and this is a door to a bathroom. There is another door on the other side that um, other people can get to if they need to. And then this is my cabin. It's, I have learned it is very hard to keep a small cabin on a sailboat clean. Um, it is sort of a double-ish bed. I wouldn't want to share it with another person only because of the heat factor. Um, so that's that. Let me show you the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. It's actually quite large, I think, for a bathroom. I've been on a sailboat before and a bathroom is not this large. Um, and I can stand and there is a uh, hatch up there so it lets some fresh air and there is a shower under that <laughs> shower head underneath that towel and then it goes up there and there's hot water it's great the only thing is it does have the old-fashioned you have to pump the handle toilet which is kind of annoying especially when you're having a bumpy ride anyway but it's really nice there's storage behind that mirror um, but overall it's great so there's a couple more days of sailing, but I'm going to save that for the next video, and I will see you in that one.